God, Christ and man first lesson, John chapter 5 verse 30, I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Second lesson, John chapter 15 verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches, he that abodeth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Good in text, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3, But I would have you know, that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. When you talk about the Trinity you are referring to the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Christ said that he could do nothing of his own except what he received from the Father. He is thus always with the Father. Christ is not under any person. He is under the Father. The Father, through him, does all things. Thus his declaration that, I and my Father are one. No one can do anything for him for he does everything under the instruction and guidance of the Father and will not do anything that the Father forbids. When you hear that Christ rules over everything, it does not mean that he rules over God. He is under God and so he boasts of the Father and not himself for of his own he can do nothing. All his actions and works emanate from the Father. That is why on that fateful day when he drank that cup of woe the Father turned his back to him and on the cross Christ shouted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The temple was then rent in two. Without God the Christ can do nothing. Thus you have the Father, then Christ and then the man, the three in one. The divine channel of communication Christ cannot pass into a woman except through man. That is why he says, I am the path, the truth and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Shout as you may to angels and saints, he is the intercessor and everything passes through him to the Father and through him to man. The irony is that man has refused to recognize him. If man says that Christ is nothing, man can accomplish nothing. That is why Christ says that he is divine and we are the branches and without him man can do nothing because man has no power. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the ruler of man and the man rules over the woman. If man were to subject himself to Christ, he would give man the power to rule over the woman. Without Christ man cannot rule over the woman. If the man does not recognize Christ and does not go to church what then is his stance? Christ has arranged everything in perfect order. God is the head of Christ, Christ is the head of man and man is the head of the woman. Our Lord acknowledges that he can do nothing of his own but man has refused to acknowledge Christ and thus has no power to rule over the woman. Without Christ there would be no man. The man and the woman are one. Christ and the Father are one. There is one shepherd and one flock. Christ and the Father make up the one shepherd while the man and woman make up the one sheepfold. Man must therefore acknowledge Christ because man can do nothing unless he has Christ. The Father passes through Christ and Christ passes through man and man to the woman. As man rebels against Christ so does the woman rebel against the man. For no man can rule a woman of his own. Thus in this era no one is anything but Christ is all and all. The woman has to take her lessons from man. She cannot bypass man to go to Christ direct. Everything has been arranged in order. The Father is the head of the first son and Christ is the head of the second son, man. The second son cannot go out and do anything that is not approved by the first son, he must seek clearance from the first son. The man must seek Christ because he is the king, ruler and shepherd and he must be listened to and obeyed, honored and adored and his instructions adhered to. Man must be united with Christ. The follies of man like stealing, Fornication, making concoctions, beating of the woman, beating of children and idolatry would not occur if man were to listen to the instructions of Christ for Christ receives the instructions from the Father and passes them down. If man receives the instructions and adheres to them he can then have power to rule over the woman and do other things. Just like a baby it passes through Christ to the man and then through the man to the woman. Every other thing passes through the same channel. Everything from the Father is of the Son because they are one. We would have no problems if we were to acknowledge Christ. He is the custodian of power, wealth, good health, peace, children and other things and if you acknowledge him, he hands down these things to you. Take a man who has 100 children for example. 
the father and the first son walk as one and all the others are under them. In the absence of the father it is the first son that rules. Any of the children that refuses to acknowledge the first son will not have what to eat and will not have peace. Christ is the first son and all must recognize him as our ruler, shepherd and caretaker otherwise we all will have problems. You must acknowledge him and realize that without him you do not exist. Let our first lesson be read. First lesson, John chapter 5 verse 30, I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. That is where the word has gone wrong. To which angel has the Father ever said, Today I have begotten you. But he said to Christ, You are my beloved son and today I have begotten you. No matter his presence in the world as a man, he is still the first son and no matter your standing as a millionaire, president, governor, queen, king, emperor, you must recognize him as the first son or you are doomed. The first son was in existence before you and God does not count from one. He counts from zero. Recognize Christ, the first son God also gave the order that the woman would be under the man. If our Lord did not heed the instruction of the Father he would not have succeeded. The Son should take the semblance of the Father and you should take the Son's semblance. It is like in the government where you have different departments like engineering, garments, medical, security and so on. Everything is set out in its department and you cannot transfer one to the other. In the police force the first person that handles a case is in charge of the case and if you do not please him you are done for. That is the same thing that God has done. Father to son, son to man and man to woman. Unfortunately man breaks this chain of communication by not recognizing Christ and consequently suffers. His rulership is not by election and he dispenses things as he pleases. All our prayers and requests go to him and all angels bow to him. All angels and spirits recognize him as ruler but man does not because man claims that Christ is a man like himself. It is only Christ that can save man but man tries to bypass him. Why the brotherhood of the cross and star has been victorious is that Christ is the head. Paul said that the things he is supposed to do he does not do and the things he is not supposed to do are the things he does. He concludes therefore that there must be sin in him. He, however, thanks Christ for coming to deliver him from the evil. If our Lord the Christ does not deliver you, no one else can. If he does not elect you no one can and if he does not change you, no one else can. So if you do not recognize him, the woman will rebel against you as you rebel against Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ is like a river. There is no other thing to do than to cross the river. He is the custodian of everything so when Peter asked what they, who abandoned everything to follow him, would gain, he said that in the regeneration he would replenish them a hundredfold and give them eternal life. Thus anyone who abandons child or wife or family to serve Christ will be rewarded a hundredfold. No one else can give you everlasting life or wealth, truth and the crown of rulership apart from Christ. That is why he says that if you love him and keep his commandments, he and his father will love you and make their abode with you. He is in the world today and everybody should surrender to him. Second lesson, John chapter 15 verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches, he that abodeth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Have you now seen why the world cannot succeed in anything? All the launchings done by the government avails them nothing. The prayers and songs of churches achieve nothing. The efforts of the companies and firms have no effect on the economy which continues to worsen. The works of the chiefs and traditional rulers amount to nothing and all this is because they have rejected the word of God. If you go to the village for a function and you call for prayers, they will tell you that it is not their tradition to pray and so they fail. Christ is the government, he rules over man and woman. He is the vine and you are the branches. If a branch stays on the vine it gets nutrition and bears good fruits but when it is cut off it withers and dies. If man is removed from Christ, man can achieve absolutely nothing and that is the situation in the world today. He controls the sun, moon, wind, life, angels, spirits and everything and he has no deputy. The Father has put everything in his hands and in the hands of anyone that loves and recognizes him and obeys him. 
He says that you should cast all your burden on him for he cares for you. That means that you should bring to him all what you want to do and he will do them for you. When you then boycott him and go to trees or idols or secret societies, what can these people do for you? We in the brotherhood of the cross and star are very lucky because Father, Son and Holy Spirit are here. Have you seen us burning candles and incense? Have you seen perfumes, clapping of hands or beating of drums here? Have you seen reading of psalms here? Have you ever seen us going to the mountains or waterside to pray? If you do not abide by the words of Christ you have neither the Son nor the Father but if you do, you have both the Father and the Son. It was not given to women to rule so try as they may they cannot rule. Only the man who recognizes Christ must rule. That is why we in the brotherhood preach Christ as the head of everything and have absolute faith in his name. There is no other name that can save apart from his name. I teach you to pray and give testimonies in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Make all your requests in his name. Any gift you want to give and anything you want to do should be in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you deny him, he denies you as well. Do you not see how the churches, governments, principalities and powers deny him and how he has denied them too? Being a man is nothing if we fail to recognize him and obey him. God is love, Christ is love and we all must abide in love. If you do not recognize him and you do not have the Holy Spirit, then what are you going to use to rule? But if you recognize him and stop fornicating and lying, drinking and smoking and practice love, he will give you the power with which to rule. Golden text, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3, But I would have you know, that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. That is God's arrangement and no prayer can change it. Christ is the head of all men and women but pitiable man says that he fears no one. If Pilate knew who our Lord Jesus Christ was, would he have condemned him? Do you think that if Pilate knew who he was they would have treated him the way they did? Christ always comes into the world as a man and you may even be older than him. Christ glorifies the Father when he says that of his own he can do nothing but man seeks his own glory. You talk about my house, my money, my car and claim that you can do what you like with them. You say, I did this, I did that. It means you do not recognize any other person. Through this gospel I want you to realize that Christ is the head of and ruler of man and man of woman. Man usurps authority to rule over the woman and that is why the man fails. A house divided cannot stand. Since you have refused to recognize Christ as the head, the woman rebels against you. You then look up and ask God and the angels to help you. Continue looking up. It is like bypassing the governor of this state and going to Anambra state governor to help you in Cross River state. How can he help you? All the angels bowed to Christ but Lucifer refused and because of that rebellion Lucifer was cast out of heaven. Lucifer then came down on earth and started deceiving man, telling him not to worship man like himself. Was Christ not a man with eyes, nose and body? When he resurrected did he not have hands, feet and head like man? When he was carried up into heaven by angels did he not go as a man? Was the man-child referred to in Revelation not like other human beings with all parts of the body? Now that the man-child is on earth are people not provoking him and saying all manner of things? He is a man like you but he is not you. Even here in the brotherhood of the cross and star some of you boast of yourselves, I have peace, I have money, I have power, I can do this and I can do that. Do you not see how rude and insolent you are? Pray for God to reveal this man, this world ruler to you so that you can receive his blessings and be put in a position to rule. His rulership and dominion is not of man. The Armageddon war is on and he says that those that would not that he rule over them should be brought before him and slain. He is the vine and we are the branches. Without him nothing exists. Even if you bring millions here for use in this kingdom and you do not recognize him as your head and your ruler, your money means nothing. 99% of the brotherhood members do not know him. But how can they know him when they do not recognize him? They do not fast and when they come out to pray they ask for money, wife and children. If you recognize and glorify him, he and the Father will descend into you and take away all your problems. 
It is said that those who have seen the face of God are rejoicing but those who have not and do not recognize him are lamenting. I will not take you any further. A stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. He that hath ears let him hear and may God bless his holy word. Amen.